Hey guys, welcome back here to my channel and today to the November Diorama Showcase video where I'll be showcasing you all the entries that I had from the Dark Ride Challenge. This challenge was so difficult, so props to anybody that took part this month. It really was a difficult challenge, um, so much to build, it was such a large map and so many different things to think about when designing this. A storyline, all the different theming and the scenes that you had to build within the ride, um, having a facade as well and making it kind of fit into maybe a theme park. Um, so yeah, there's lots to think about. It was very difficult. Um, I had a great time building this myself with Mr. Unit. I will put a link at the end of this video so you can check out what I did if you've not seen it already. This map was designed by Dan Ambley over on Discord and he has given me his uh, input on what he thinks um, are the best maps etc and his placings. I've taken all that into consideration and I've had a good look through them all myself as well. As they are dark rides, these will be judged at night time. I want to see the lighting, the effects, the storylines going throughout the whole thing and the whole thing as a cohesive build. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking for here. There's some great entries, I really can't wait to get into them and show you them all. But before I do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already, I really do appreciate it. If you haven't participated already in the December challenge, there is some information at the end of this video for that one. If you want to take part, there's still time. And so in no particular order, let's get straight into the entries for November. First up here, we have Ark Knight's Penguin Landing. And I do feel like this one was going in the right direction and it had a really a lot of potential there. Um, I do feel like it maybe it's a little bit unfinished. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but um, just some areas here look like they could have been um, worked on a little bit more, especially the front of the map here and the station area the uh, entrance and the unloading area as well there is a little bit of like an outdoor section which i maybe would have covered uh, as is a dark ride but there are some cool areas here there is the where the elevators are there's a nice scene going on there and i think if that was carried on throughout the rest of the map it would have been um really really cool it was heading in the right direction but it did just miss the mark a little bit for me there on that one but thanks for taking part and actually giving this mammoth map a, a good go next up here we have cloverfield the monster returns by pacific rim he says, it's the year 2023, 15 years after the Cloverfield event in New York, but the monster from the event comes to destroy Florida. Many people thought the nuclear bomb killed the monster, but the monster survived the explosion by digging into the ground and coming out into the sea. Many people thought the hole that the monster created was a crater of the bomb, but now you must take evacuation vehicles from the military base before it's too late. Really cool idea, love the idea. I don't feel like that story was portrayed through the, throughout the map, to be honest, and all the rooms on the dark ride were very repetitive. I like that you completely enclosed it and had the open roof section so we could see in. The storyline is great, I just don't feel like it was translated into the dark ride very well. The facade of the building is quite plain, but I like the drop towers and the monster that you got there, but thanks for taking part. Next up here we have Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Um, this is a really fantastic attempt at doing a dark ride. I really think you portrayed the story of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory very, very well throughout the entire map. The front of the map here, we've got a lovely facade. It's a little bit repetitive, but I really like the actual entrance to the dark ride itself. And I like the carousel and the balloons ride that you have there as well. I think they fit very nicely into this maybe children's area. I don't know if you remember some of you guys, but there was a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory dark ride at Alton Towers back along a few years ago. Anyway, they say, did you find your golden ticket? Take a tour inside the magical chocolate factory of Willy Wonka. Discover all the secrets in the storage rooms, the weird machinery, the legendary chocolate river, the experiments room and the television room. Watch out for some Oompa Loompas that may be roaming around the factory and keep your eyes open. You might meet Mr. Willy Wonka himself. So the rooms are great in this dark ride. My favorite one being the Chocolate River here. I think you really portrayed that room from the movie very, very well. I do find as we get further into the dark ride that some of the rooms become a little sparse. Like the television room has some really great effects and things in there, but they just feel very empty. Um, uh, they are quite big spaces to fill in, so maybe more props and things in those rooms uh, would have been quite nice. But I absolutely love the approach that you've taken to this one, it looks really really cool. I love the way that you have the open um, roof areas as well so we can see in, uh, with all the framework as well for the overhead lighting, that's a really nice detail that you've got in there. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's some really cool triggers in here, got some nice little props and things made, um, which are really really nice to see. Um, Again, a fantastic job. I can't even imagine doing this map on my own. I think you did this on your, by yourself and it's such a huge project to take on. So huge congratulations for actually finishing it and getting it in. Um, here we have the last room here where we meet Willy Wonka behind the curtain. 
which is a really nice ending to the dark cry just like in the films thank you for building this and taking part i really do appreciate it and uh, it's such a huge challenge to take on so thank you very very much Next up here we have Oz. I love The Wizard of Oz, such a classic movie, the first ever coloured film, I think. Um, but yeah, the uh, this one, unfortunately, I do believe is unfinished. I think some areas there on the bottom left-hand corner uh, look a bit unfinished. But I can see the direction again that this was going in, and I can see all the work that was going into it. Um, just because the challenge is over, don't stop there. Like, keep building and working on it. Um, it's just a cool project to work on, I guess. But yeah, some really cool little things going on here. We've got the nice little tornadoes there um, going through the very first scene. Um, some of the scenes in here are really, really cool. I like the little um, Munchkin village here with the yellow brick road. Some of the details here are really, really fantastic. And I just wish that was carried on throughout the entire map. I know it's unfinished, but um, it would have been really, really cool to see the uh, potential of this map because I think it really is going in a really fantastic direction. Got some really cool lighting as well, really lighting up these scenes, which I think is really important for a dark ride, so that's nice to see. The yellow brick road here continues on, um, and it's going to take us into more of the scenes like at the castle. We're going to see the witches. We've got some really cool figures made out of um, shapes, which is something I personally suck at. I'm really bad at doing shape figures, and I really appreciate it when people do like figures out of shapes, because I just I know how difficult it is or how difficult I find it. Um, I do feel like some of the, the, the castle and everything that's sticking out uh, of the top of the roof is a bit random. I feel like that would be more enclosed within the show building of the Dark Ride. Um, but I do like how open it is and how much we can actually see in and see some of these lovely details that you've put in there. For me, after the castle scene, we go to the Emerald City and this is where the map starts to lose its details, I guess. I feel like it started off really, really strong and then maybe this is the point where you started running out of time um, but yeah it's a really really fantastic effort I really appreciate all the work that has gone into it so far up to this point um, please finish it I'd love to see this finished and uh, let me know if you do plan on finish it because I'd like to have a look around it when it's done but again this was an enormous challenge a huge project to take on uh, which was why I extended the deadline to the middle of December just because I think that one month for this challenge just wasn't enough but Fantastic effort. Thank you for taking part and sending that one in to me. I really do appreciate it. So next up here we have a map by Vertex. Now this map I believe is a Dutch story or it has a Dutch name and if I'm wrong I do apologise. Um, I feel like the front of this is chaotic. I'm not really sure where to look. Um, those bright colours with that neon pink and stuff is a little bit off-putting. Um, but I understand maybe you're going for like a magical forest type thing. Um, there's a lot going on here. Uh, but my favourite thing of this map is this little easter egg here on the side which is a ride ops place and we actually have the layout of the dark ride with little lights going around it. And I just think that is such a fantastic detail to, to be put in there. Um, I really really appreciate uh, that kind of work and those, those kind of details when it comes to realistic type things. So now let's just follow the cars around this map here. There was a description sent in for this map and I'm not going to read it out because there's so many words in it that I just cannot pronounce or can't say. Um, I, you know, I don't want to butcher a language that I'm not familiar with. Um, but we've got some really cool trigger effects going on here like this one We've got the sliding billboard there in the background, which is really cool with some nice triggers going on to keep it really, you know um, Atmospheric and add some animation to the scenes and those cars that are now going on like a little ice journey here um, I do believe this is about like a like a killer snowman or something and you have to save some people um, I'm not a hundred percent sure though but um, yeah, some really cool details here, a really fantastic attempt. Uh, me and Dan spoke about it and Dan was very, very rightly said that some of these maps suffered a little bit from overkill, having too many things put into them and so things became unclear. I felt like this was um, partly true on this one in some areas, especially the front of the map and the second half of the storyline with the coloured trees and everything. It just got a little bit crazy and I was, wasn't really where, sure where to look, but I do absolutely love this um, light up rainbow here that goes from one side to the other out of different coloured orb lights. I think that's a really, really awesome trigger effect that you've built there. And then we're just going in now into the final scene, uh, which has a really, really cool facade. It just was a little bit hidden for me with all the crazy colours going on around the front of it. Um, but it looks really, really awesome. And the actual exit to the ride, I believe, is outdoors. 
um, which is a nice little uh, different way or different approach to do it. But I really appreciate all the work gone into this one again. Like I keep saying, I know this was a huge map and a huge commitment to build, but um, I'm so appreciative um, of you people that actually did join in and actually build something because I couldn't have done this by myself if I had taken part, you know. So next up here, we have Red Rum The Ride by Hey It's Trevor. And this was one of my favourites, I absolutely love it. Um, I love a good horror film, and you are correct, there should be more horror themed dark rides out there in the world. I think the facade on this one is super neat, super clean, and um, I love all the scenes as well. This one took a really, really nice simple approach, which I actually really enjoy. Got some really cool trigger effects going on in here as well. And again, this map used um, some like figures made out of shapes and stuff throughout the entire thing to tell the story. And I just think that was really, really awesome. Do you feel like there could have been more animation going on in some of the rooms? But I do feel like the story was told very well. One of my favourite actual uh, bits here is the blood coming out of the elevator doors onto the floor there uh, with those red flashing lights which is really nice and then we go down this corridor where we have this dead uh, figure on the floor um, which is really really cool. It's spooky, I like it, I like a good spooky story um, and I think you did a fantastic job on this one. Hey It's Trevor says that Red Rum the Ride takes space in one of his favourite horror films of all time, The Shining. I hope you guys like it, all the critiques are appreciated and this is my first dark ride I've ever built and I think you did a fantastic job considering this is your first time ever. Another one that I absolutely loved was World of Mary Poppins by Luke and I think this has one of my favourite facades of the entire challenge so I just want to give you maybe a non-official uh, facade award and uh, I just think you did a fantastic job. I love the entrance to the actual ride itself um, being hidden between the houses and everything. Uh, I think you did a fantastic job. This one for me again the scenes just kind of get a little bit sparse towards the end of the journey of the ride. Um, they start off really, really strong, full of detail. Um, I loved all the transitions and everything that you've got going on. And then they do get a little bit more empty and the rooms get a little bit large and not really that much as much detail in them as you started off with. But I absolutely love the way you approached this dark ride. I think you did a fantastic job. I could really imagine this actually being in a Disney park as well. And uh, I love the way you have the open roof sections as well. Again, with having the framework in there for all the overhead lighting. I think that looks really, really nice. This big room back here, I felt like maybe you struggled with a little bit. So you just filled it with giant props because um, I had a similar problem when I was building as well. And then we head up into these uh, rooms in the back here, which, like I said, just feel a little bit empty. But um, you did a fantastic job. I absolutely love this um, idea. I think you did the most amazing facade on this building. Um, I just think that deserves just a huge round of applause for, for that how well you did the facade, especially using the Freedom 2K there and having it really off the grid and giving it this real organic look, which I think is quite difficult to do sometimes in these gridded type games. So the cars are nearly completing their journey, they're just going into the last room now where we go up to the um, fountains and there's a nice little light show going on with the street lights which I think is really really nice and that takes us then into the exit corridor to the, um, uh, the unloading station which actually is a really really nice place as well, it has a really cool facade on that building as well which takes you into a nice little gift shop which was nice to see. So thank you for taking part and sending that one in to me, again I really do appreciate it. So in third place here we have a collaboration build, this is Hawking's Lab Experience by Lively Engineer and Payne. I believe they were both building separate Stranger Things maps and they decided to come together as one force and do this map which I think turned out really really great. Um, absolutely love the facade, there's some really great details going on there which look just like the real Hawkins lab. I don't picture this in a theme park at all, I don't think it has that type of look to it but I do really appreciate the whole idea of keeping it very realistic to the actual real life, um, well you know what I mean, from the series Stranger Things. We've got some really cool scenes going on here, um, some really cool animations going on as well, especially with like this, um, the light beam going through the wall into the upside down and having all these red vines and all the lights floating around. I really think you've captured that atmosphere of Stranger Things within this dark ride. And that also having the elevators go down into the upside down, which I think is a really nice way of taking the riders uh, into a different world. So I really, really like how that um, transition worked out. 
The only criticism I really have on this one, and it's something that we've seen in the other maps as well, is that the last few scenes towards the end of the Dark Ride start to become a little bit sparse and they feel very large and empty. Um, this is definitely something that I can see in the living room scene with the Christmas lights and also in the last scene in the classroom. But I do feel like the storyline has been portrayed very well throughout the whole Dark Ride. Um, you can definitely see that this is a Stranger Things map and, and a Stranger Things theme. And I really, really do appreciate um, some of the details that have gone into this one. I think as a whole, it was a really, really great map. And that was including the facade and the storytelling with all the theming as well. Like, for instance, this classroom scene here... Um, has some really great details going on I uh, just it is a little bit empty but there are a lot of details uh, going on in there as well it's not really your fault how big the rooms are it's just it's how it was um, but yeah really really great build I really think this was a fantastic collaboration from both of you and there were so many easter eggs and details that I enjoyed in this map uh, being a fan of Stranger Things myself I think you did a great job um, I really like the unloading station as well and also the entrance to the to the actual ride i think you did a great job on those as well with capturing the atmosphere of the series so a great job well done guys so in its second place here we have a christmas map this is santa claus is killing tonight by robo flamingo jod and mr unit and i expect nothing less of robo flamingo to take a lovely family christmas event uh, like Christmas and turn it into a horror story uh, but it's been done really really well We've got some great theming going on here some really really great details um, some of the trigger effects and the scenes are great like this one we've got the splattered blood on the wall I think that works out really really well it's really amazing how you actually achieve that um, to work the only thing for me with this map is the facade was just a little bit crazy that I, it was just a lot going on on the front of this building um, but for me this storytelling and the scenes actually made up for some of the bits I didn't like on the facade. Um, but I think, yeah, like I said, the storytelling is fantastic. All these different scenes with Santa Claus, like killing these families or burning down these houses and Christmas trees and catching things on fire and smashing up stuff is just really, really great. And the storytelling has been done very, very well throughout this map. Me and Dan did actually have like um, a bit of a discussion about this map because I just really wasn't sure how I felt about it straight away, just mainly because of the facade. Um, and then after talking about it, uh, we came to agreement that the uh, scenes were absolutely fantastic in this one. So in the scene here, we have Santa Claus and then just behind them, the shutters open and all the elves appear. And that takes us into the final scene where all the elves actually chop off Santa's head. And you get to see Santa's head there served on the dinner table with his dead body in the background, which I think is a really cool ending. This is a really awesome build, guys. I think he did a fantastic job at, at portraying the story. So well done. So in at first place here, we have my favourite map of the month, and that is Wally to the Rescue by Astrotron. I just think this map was just so charming, and I just think he did a really fantastic job at telling that wonderful story from Wally, the Disney film. Me and Dan, who designed this map, both agreed that this was the, the first place winner this month. And why we like it so much is because the story is very, very clear and it's been told very well. It's not too much overkill on the like decorations and everything. It's just enough for you to really see that this is a Wally story. And when you follow the cars around the map, it really takes you on the key moments from the film. Um, and you can definitely tell the story and what's going on. Um, there's some really cool little details in this one that you might miss straight away. And one of the things that I really love is this picture that's been put on a billboard of Parkitect in one of the scenes to make it look like the room is bigger. It's just there right now on the bottom left hand corner. Um, I thought that was a really awesome way of like making the room look like it continues on. But not only did this map have great scenery and storytelling, I felt like the whole thing was just really well done. I loved the facade of this building. Uh, I loved the, the station of it and how that was done. And just the way all the boxes were outside the front of the storage um, kind of uh, hardware store. And I could really imagine this being like in a Disney park and you kind of coming up to the hardware store with all these abandoned boxes and broken cars in this um, destroyed earth and actually going into this building and getting on this attraction. I could really imagine Disney actually building this and that's why I really like this so much. I think it did such a great job. Um, I love all these little details here as well with um, with Eve with the plant and Wally taking that back to earth to plant that plant so they can restart life 
on planet earth and i just think i think wall is a great story anyway and having that as a dark ride is such a great idea i also love the roofing and everything and the way you did it with all the air vents and everything very believable um i think it's very important to have all those details on the roofs of buildings on on rides like this and um some really nice exterior walls as well some of it's quite simple but in a good way and i think that's why this map was so successful so a huge congratulations to Astrotron and this winning map this month. Um, like I said, a fantastic job, well done. And I do feel like if you want to explore these maps further and really get into the details and watch more of the scenes and see the effects, then head over to Steam. They're all on Steam. You can download them there for yourself and have a look through them and uh, really appreciate the work that has gone into these. So yeah, massive thank you to Astrotron. Thank you for taking part and congratulations. So here is my version. I'm not going to show you it properly because I did a whole series on this map on my channel. So I'm going to put a link up now in the corner if you want to head over to the little showcase video that I did for this map. But this is Theatre 51. This was a collaboration with myself and Mr. Unit. And we basically did a, a movie studio type tour dark ride. And I really, really had fun building this one with him. If you want to take part in December challenge, which is now this month, it's not too late. This is a 10 by 10 mini map. I'll put a link up in the corner as well for the details so you can head over to that video and check out more details on this map if you want to take part. But a huge shout out to my patrons. I really do appreciate the support. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up for this video. And I'll see you all next time here on my channel for another video. Bye.